All right, in this video, we are going to look at M.1.6 in the ATIT study manual that involves real world problems uh, that involve percentages. And here's three examples that we're going to cover. But before we jump into those, one thing to remind you at any point in time, uh, feel free to go over to my website, I do math.weebly.com, underneath test prep, under T's test, go to ATIT's new. I always remember I do have extra videos there as well. And then also, if you go to my ch uh, YouTube channel and you do a quick search, for example, the topic we're talking about today is percent. So if you do a quick search on my channel for percent, there are going to be other problems there as well. Because in multiple math classes that I teach, we do percents. And I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes as I put that video on a particular math class, I may forget to stick it over here. So there's plenty of other uh, resources on my website, on my YouTube channel for percents, but here's three problems that you may encounter or something remotely similar on the T's test. Let's look at the first one. Example one, Sally's annual salary is currently $60,000. Her boss informed her that she will be receiving a 5% increase in her salary effective next year. What will salary what will Sally's salary be after the increase? Now, when you want to find a percentage of a number, and that's what we want to do here, we want to find 5%. That's the question we have to ask ourselves first. What is 5% of 60,000? Well, what you can do here Instead of us going into a proportion, I have videos on proportions with percents and I have videos on equations. When you want to find a percentage of a number, all you do is multiply the percent times the number. Now be careful, you know, the calculator probably will not have a percent key, so 5% is going to be 0.05. Of means multiply and let's do 60,000. So that increase will be $3,000. 5% of $60,000 will be $3,000. Now be careful because if on this multiple choice T's test, more than likely that will be one of the uh, possible answer choices. This right here is going to be her increase. Her salary is going to increase by $3,000. Well, remember, she was making sixty dollars to, be to begin with, so her new salary new salary will be equal to $63,000. Now, that's the quick way to do it, saving a bunch of time. When you want to find a percentage of a number, you multiply 5% times 60,000. And just make sure you convert that 5% to 0 0.05 when you go to do that in the calculator. That's her new salary. Again, if, you, if you're interested in the proportion way, it's a little bit longer or the equation way, that's a little bit longer as well, but you can get those ideas from percent problems. Um, that's an example there, or percent problems proportions. Both of these cover the proportion technique as well as the equation technique. I encourage you to practice doing it this way because you know your test is timed and you don't want to run out of time, right? Example number two. All right, so cell phones. A popular cell phone retails for $700. A cell phone company discounts the phone by 20%. What is the sale price going to be? Well, what we want to do now, the original price is 700 bucks. We want to find 20% of that, but we're not going to add it because the cell phone company is going to discount it. So we want to find 20% of 700 and we want to subtract it. That's what we want to do here. So 20%, that's going to be 0.20, or 0.2 really, times 700. So 140, that's what the discount is going to be. So discount is going to be equal to 20% of 700. And we just did that and I forgot what it was. That's $140. So that's the discount. That's not how much you're going to pay. That's the discount off the retail price. And the question says, what is the sale price? So this is not the sale price. This is the discount that you're going to get. What we need to do to figure out the sale price, sale price will be equal to 700 bucks minus the discount. Therefore, that's going to be what? $560. So that will be the sale price for that sale phone. Again, uh, proportions or equations, you can do those as well, but whenever you want to find a percentage of a number, multiply them together, and then just be careful and make sure you answer the question, because this question could have easily been, instead of that right there, it could have been, 
what is the discount? If it said, what is the discount? Your answer would be 140 bucks. So make sure you read that question very carefully on the T's test as you are completing these types of problems. And then the last example, example number three, a percent of increase or percent of decrease problem. We will do a little bit more with this one than we have with the other two. So the number of members at a local gym is 300 or was 300 at the end of December. By the end of January, the number of members had risen to 450. Um, I guess people had some New Year's resolutions, right? Went from 300 to 450 members in one month. What was the percent of increase in the number of members over these two months? Okay, well, here's how you do percent of increase or percent of decrease. So notice it says, what is the percent of increase? Well, the formula is really the same for both of them. Percent of increase or decrease. The formula I use is this. I take the difference between them. So difference between the two numbers. Let me make a little bit of room here. Difference between the two numbers. And then we divide by, now check this out. This is where you have to be careful. The old, and I'm putting that in quotations because you don't you don't always want to divide by the small number or you don't always want to divide by the big number. It depends on what's going on here. But then once we do all that, if we multiply this by 100 or if we just move the decimal, same thing, move decimal. All this is going to do when we multiply by 100, it's going to move the decimal two places to the right. All right, well, what's the difference between the two numbers? Let's go ahead and figure that out. So the percent of increase, the difference between them, we're going to take 450 minus 300, and then we're going to divide that by the old. Now let's think about what happened here. What happened in the number between the number of members? It went from 300 up to 450. So the old in this case is going to be 300. It used to be 300, now it's 450. You have to think about that. If something increases the old amount, the old amount is going to be the smaller amount. However, I encourage you to go check out some more of these examples on my website. If something decreases, which it didn't happen in this problem, if something decreases, the old would have been the larger amount because if something decreases, it went from a bigger number to a smaller number. However, in this case, since we did increase from 300 to 450, we want to divide by the old, which is 300. So let's go ahead and subtract these. 450 minus 300 is 150. We divide that by 300. That's going to give us 0.5. Now, I know I said, hey, we got to multiply this by 100. Well, if you do that, I assure you all we're doing there is taking that decimal and we're going to move it two places to the right when we multiply by 100. So if we multiply this by 100.5 times 100. Therefore, we have our percent of increase. So there was a 50% increase uh, in the number of members that joined this gym. And that's a nice number for us to kind of talk about this a little bit more and to make you understand this on a different level. What is half of 300? What is 50% of 300? Same thing, same question. 50% of 300? 150. Half of 300? 150. Well, that's exactly how much this thing went up by. It went up by 150 members, which means we went up 50% of what it originally was. And that's what we're really finding here when we do a percent of increase or a decrease problem. But again, be careful with the word old. Make sure you understand what old means, depending on whether you're increasing or decreasing. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's uh, three examples of word problems that involve percent that you may encounter something remotely similar on the ATIT's test. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.